Hello, internet. So yeah, this new monthly update for October, right now, November <laughs> 2016. Yeah, please enjoy your time because I'm playing so much Destiny. But uh, I, th I think I had the Hunter and the Warlock at 400 last time. I don't remember, dude. It's, it's been a while. But yeah, now they're all three up there. I mean, I could get could have got the Titan there last time anyway because it just switched gear around, I think. Or I need to go shell. I don't remember, but yeah. Now they're all there and stuff, and everything's cool. So let's see what's going on with the characters and where they're at and what's going on. I just repeated myself. But uh, right now, I have the weekly Crucible bounty to turn in on all my characters. So I'm going to turn that in, see what I get on everybody. So the one I get. Oh, Eternal Warrior. And then she dropped at 400, I believe, because it's Nightfall Tier Award. We go to the tower to put it in the wall, I guess. Or not, because no real reason to. Um, I guess I, need to, I can check out the vault. There's stuff in the vault. I'll, I'll go there on the. You know, I'll just go there now, whatever. <clears throat> but, uh. Yeah, I finally got the, uh. Not only did I get the burning eye, but I got the adept burning eye, so that's awesome. Uh, from the. Lighthouse chest from Trials of Osiris. And then all my characters I'm trying to like get a get a set of weapons here going where they basically have a uh legendary on them that they can switch out with an exotic that's like whatever, like either the class one or just like a really good one for that weapon type. I haven't really worked it out on the warlock yet, whatever. I'll probably give them Jade Rabbit, I don't know. Um but then it's like not really good for PvE, so eh, whatever, maybe um Blaine Gemini. So yeah, they all have their um, class exotic and their... I mean, I'm going to retire my Titan Malice, actually, in this video. Two of them on the Hunter and Titan. I'm also going to retire all my Galahorns from year one, or two, or three, or whatever. So that as well. At least at least two of them, anyway. I don't, I don't need that many old exotic weapons I no longer use. So I'm getting rid of those. And also lately, I've been... Uh, Whenever I turn to the legendary marks, instead of just sitting on them, I'll just go in here at the Crypt Arc and, you know, just spin them on something like a weapon. Not, not armor, because I don't need armor, so I'll just get like a weapon. Especially since, like, the uh, armor's capped anyway, and it's hard to get armor to infuse up to other armor. Yeah, they all have a uh, legendary, and then, like, one of the raid weapons for, like, whatever weapon type they use. So, more like Scout Rifle, Hunter's Pulse Rifle, Titan's Odd Rifle. Um, I'm thinking about putting the Trials weapon on them too, just because it's, they're all pretty decent for PvE and PvP, so, uh, and then, uh, they're class exotic, and then just having, like, three, and then the Warlock has four, because he has this, you know, he just happens to have a W on him, because I missed that gun. Uh, but yeah, I've had this gun in the vault for a long time. I finally infused it up, because I wanted to actually try using it, because it's more of a, it's a much better crucible variant than my Vortex, because it has more impact and range. Charge is kind of crappy, but whatever. I haven't got around to turning it out yet. So I'm trying to get these, uh, you know, like, their set of, uh, class special weapon, their sniper, and their fusion infused up to 400, and then eventually the sidearm and the invective, but, you know, it's, like, not, 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 really, not necessary right now, because I already have a sidearm specifically for PvP, and I don't really use my invectives that much anyway, so, hmm. You know, I've come pretty far on infusing everybody's heavy weapons, so... Wallax well, got all his stuff up for 100, um... Except for the Dread Fang. I'm, I'm not worried about the Dread Fang, because it's like, I can just use their Legendary, and the whatever, so... As soon as I get, like, another set of 400s, the Dread Fangs will go up, but, you know, right now it's not an issue. And they all have the uh, 400 ghost shells, and I'm trying to get them all one of the hard mode raid. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong my voice right now. I'm trying to get them all one of the hard mode raid ghost shells, so... They all have one of those too, and then... I, I, I don't know, there's like a lot of ghost shells I like this year, because there's so many different variations. And they're all just so, like, color, colorful and different, like the Charles one looks neat. I like that one. I feel like a lot of them. I just like the fact that there's like a different faction ghost shell for each faction now. And so I give one to each character for whatever faction they're on. Uh, artifacts. I'm telling them, like, break all these down on my other two characters, because I only need one set. 
until I can get them from Tyra that have like you know like discipline on all of them. So until then I'm just gonna give them all like all the four hundred ones. Well this one's three fifty, but you know, I'll infuse it up later and then that way if I need to like have a specific artifact, I will uh be able to switch to it and have the four hundred. But then I still don't have the um the last thing I need is like the last artifact. So I still need the uh sword block artifact. Which I'll also, also put a video up of uh Hobo blocking the rocket chat, that's pretty cool. But yeah, for uh <laughs> since well as lost, I haven't done a ton of strikes to get stuff because I already done sixty eight, not counting the first couple weeks when it didn't count. So I'm like, you know what, I don't feel like doing strikes to try to get some sweet masks or festivals lost loot crap, so no thank you. I actually haven't even finished that on my Hunter and Titan, just the Warlock, so yeah. Um but yeah, dude, effing trials, like, um, the armor, like, so Warlock has class item, chest piece, arm piece, no helmet, no boots, so that's annoying, I still need the helmet and boots for him, and then we'll see what I have on my other characters, but it's, it's really getting annoying to me to, like, try to get that crap every week, and then have it not be the armor piece I need to get the full set. That's my new goal, is, like, a full set of, like, discipline trials armor, and then... Slowly, but hopefully, surely, I get the ornamentation on all of it. So, I actually have one on the world because he actually went to fall last week because, you know, it's been a struggle this, week, this year in trials to so just not do terrible. <laughs> like, I can put ornamentation on this one, but I'm not doing it until I have, you know, a full set. So, I can know, okay, I have full intellect discipline and I'm not wasting pieces. I'm not sure how that works. If you get like a better piece and you dismantle it, do you get your, your ornamentation back or is it turning to silver dust? I don't know, so yeah. But uh still eating a bunch of armor, two to four hundred so I can switch out like this helmet here. I I probably should have put this into my effing PvP one, but I always use RAM right now, so it's no big deal. I'm trying to use a bunch of stuff to like swap in in case I want to use different pieces of armor, so Working on that slowly but surely. Like I had a, a build with white thing investments with the artifact that gives you double grenades and double melee, but it just it wasn't working out, so I just I went back to running a RAM. And the manacles was okay, but it's just it's just a, it's just not as good. And then the fitting aspect I like, but I want to I want to get one that has better stats, so I'm gonna wait until I get one that's better stats before I, I wear it primarily for trials. So we'll see what happens. I think that like fits my playstyle more because I, I don't really need to have, I mean, having more damage, even though it's been nerfed at RAM, is nice, but uh, all the other armor pieces don't really like, complement my playstyle, like Fast Revive. I used for Fast Revive, but it's it's just not as good, dude, like you can't run through and revive, so it's like, eh, like let's just focus on staying alive and killing other team, how about that? So yeah, that's both, and also the raid, raid drops, dude, that's the other thing that's like, ticking me off lately, is that, uh, no helmet, but I have the the arms, or the normal mode and hard mode, chest piece for hard mode and normal mode, and the legs for hard mode normal mode mode, and the class item for hard mode normal mode. But I don't have the helmet, and my Warlock's my main character, I've been running the raid every week since it's been out, and he has yet to get the helmet on normal or hard, so at first I thought, okay, smart new system works this year. It does not. It's still... RNG still just like does not drop the stuff you need all the time. I guess it's like another example for the uh, Trials armor I do not have yet, even though I've gotten five five limbs every week on each character at least. And it's just that's my goal is effing a full set of armor. And just the game will not give it to me. It's just like duh, very infuriating. What you're gonna do about it, right? Um, I actually think Missouri's gonna show up here in like 90 minutes, but. This video I'm making will be over by then. <clears throat> and also, um, I went through my vault and I cleaned out a bunch of stuff. Well, I tried to clean out a bunch of stuff because I have a bunch of hawk saws. I'm trying to get rid of them all, except the good ones. So I'm keeping like this one. I think this one and some other one, but I'm I'm like a bunch of gunsmith guns are just PVP centric guns. I have too many of, so I need to get rid of them. So that's happening. I have two of these winged words. I could probably get rid of those. Uh, but I need to infuse them and not dismantle them, so I'll check my two characters in this video, but yeah, um, what I said getting rid of, my Galahorn, 
one of my other two Galahorns, so that's happening. Um, but man, there's so many good guns, man. So it's kind of hard. And then I got this one from a, a, a gold tier package or something. It's different from the one I already had. Instead of a uh, hidden hand, it has a Zen moment, but I don't know, dude. I could probably just infuse it in this old one because I like this one a lot, so that's probably what's going to happen. I could do it right now, actually, but yeah. And I actually picked up a Doctrine on the Titan, which I have that's got Rangefinder and not Radio, so... I mean, I'm going to still keep this one, but having Rangefinder on it is going to be really nice, because Persistence already makes it pretty good with the, the uh, stability if you just hold down the trigger. Uh... Cryptic Dragon, yeah. I should probably infuse this one into this one, because I've got, got Yeah, that's another thing. Is I basically double down on a, a lot of guns. As far as, like, if they don't have crowd control, I'm just, like, going to get rid of them, because I probably don't use them anyway. Like, uh... I mean, not, not that one, but... I picked up a... I picked up a Pulse Rifle. I don't know if it's a Lidmilla or the other one that's got a weird name. Herja. That's got crowd control on it. I was like, mm. but yeah, it's applicable to stick forward. Basically, any gun that has a crowd control is basically in my good graces right now, and I'm not going to dismantle it automatically. So, yeah. Whereas if it doesn't have crowd control, it's probably getting dismantled or infused. Uh, the shotgun has hip fire. I, I kind of want to <laughs> test it out, but I don't want to <laughs> turn into one of those people that just uses shotguns. So, I don't know. I'll see. And I picked up a. I thought I had one of these with the hip fire, but I guess this is the, this is the other crucible uh, fusion rifle I picked up Grenadier in spray and play, so look forward to testing that out. Uh, uh, damn it, I have so many guns right now, they're just really good. Yeah, this is another one, a rangefinder on another crucible fusion rifle, so I, I mean, I, I switched to sidearms in crucible, but it's always nice to pull out a fusion rifle every now and then just because, so yeah. Um, but I'll probably go through here and like do some vault minutes and like either infuse or just mail a bunch of these. Because all these machine guns with crowd control on them I want to keep, but I don't know, dude. Because, uh, the Bone Crusher, like, this is really good. It just has 25 rounds in the magazine. And then, like, the Bread of March, this is the one I use for trials. So if I take this one out and I compare it to all the ones in there, like, it doesn't have, you know, superior stats compared to all of them. So it's a very much a uh, kind of an open field, you know. If it's got crowd control and like it doesn't have the range, but it's got really good stability. So it's like mm, it's got more bullets too. When it's not 35 round magazine, but I got a unending deluge um, recently that had pretty good stuff on it. It just didn't have crowd control, and I was like, oh, I should probably keep it, but I didn't keep it. So. As soon as you get one of those, because there's 70 round magazines on those, uh, I will probably keep it. Yeah, this one has like life support, so it's, that's kind of a neat, you know, get you out of a jam in a heavy ammo round, or just in a heavy ammo drop in Iron Banner or something. If you're about to die and you kill somebody and get your health back, but then it's it's only some of the time, so it's not as good as Red Death, so, hmm. which I did finally infuse up before, and I still, I still like to use it sometimes. Hawkman I was using the last week in trials, it was doing it was doing work. It was pretty good. I actually got another one actually, so yeah. This one is probably getting infused into something. Like my vision's down, so yeah. Uh yeah, I got rid of a lot of stuff I didn't use as far as exotics, so I'm trying to I'm trying to refine the amount of crap in my vault so I can have more space to put stuff because I keep I don't know, just, it's weird, like, it doesn't, like, it hasn't got old yet, as far as, like, all the guns, it feels like, it kind of feels like Borderlands, like, every time I, I find a gun, I can find something good in it or something, so, I'm also been putting a bunch of 400 armors in here for infusion bait, or material, and then I had to put a bunch of helmets in here, because of the effects of the lost, so my helmet slots were full, so, there's a lot of helmets in here right now that I either want to keep or just don't have space for, or need to infuse up, blah blah blah, so, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, also the uh, makeshift scarf and then the Titan's belt, which is the, um, I guess it's not in here, but the starting class item for the Titan and Hunter. I have those, but I don't remember what the Warlocks is, so if anybody knows what that is, please tell me, because I want to keep it. I'm not, I think it might be this one, but I'm not sure. And then, yeah, when it seems like one of those, I will keep that as well, just because it's so cool to, like, to have them, and then have them at the year 3 stats.
But yeah, I made, I made a bunch of space in my armor, so I'm, I'm pretty good at armor. A lot of stuff in here wouldn't be in here if it wasn't for the lost, and I didn't have all these masks, so... Or helmets in here to make space for masks. So, oh, there's my 400 wood thing. So yeah, I was using that for a bit on that build. But yeah, I'm totally out of space here on the, uh, the general section, so I need to use these to get my iron armor stuff set. I think I'll just wait until probably next month, and then I'll have like a full set of like raid and PvP here, and I just get those and infuse them, and then keep them and ornamentate them. And yeah. I ran out of exotic shards, but... well, I didn't run out, but I ran low, so I'm not out, but it's not an issue. Okay, let's see, yeah, that's the warlock in my vault of stuff, and what's in there, and stuff, so let's switch to the, uh... Hold on. Yeah, this one I picked up this week, so I still need the sword reflect, but every other artifact I've gotten so far, so... And they're all infused up to 400, so I just need to infuse this one to 400, and then the sword to reflect one to 400. So I'm going to switch back to like having PvE, like actual specific PvE artifacts, depending on the situation, because Scories is actually pretty useful. I really like uh, Galleon too, just because it's a radar, so if I can get one that drops to like the, like the grenade roll, like this one, where it's like void grenades or sword grenades, depending on the character, I would just go ahead and keep it, so that would be nice. Oh, that's your thing, dude. I got the artifacts to you from the right. <laughs> I just need the helmets at this point, and it's just... Axis will not drop them, but it's challenge mode next week, so it's totally gonna happen. So, or hopefully it does, we'll see, because we don't know what it, what it drops, so... Oh, and that's, I guess that's another thing, challenge mode. So I got the emblem, because we did it uh, twice over. Also got the, uh, yeah, the, um, Dust of the Lost Trials emblem. Finally got the Scarab emblem from Trials, when it follows with Zafra, and we were just playing the extra matches after the ninth one, and I got it, finally, so that was nice, but yeah, I should have some other shaders, I can't remember, these are the, um, Fest of the Lost ones, this one, and then three tiers, there's some other ones, but, nah, I'm not really trying to read them, there's some other stuff I picked up from Eva Levante that, uh, that are pretty good shaders too, and then here's the Lost Broom, it's pretty fast, it's, or it's fun to ride, but yeah, no demonstration here. Plenty of those in the streams of me riding around on the Sparrow Broom. That's the nice one that's March back. And that's, that's the nice thing about having all my four, all my heavies at 400 though, is I can just leave this here, unless I'm playing Trials, and then that's when I pull it out, because it's actually, you know, like meant to be a PvP one. Machine gun, even though you can use like really any machine gun for PvP, but the impact and hunter are so good, so. There's the two. They're the most important stats in a machine gun in PvP, but yeah, that's the Wallach. Um. Oh, dude, actually, the gunsmith, I've been leveling up with him, and he hasn't given me any like cool guns this year, so. He's, he's, not, he's not my bro right now, so. He used to be like my bro. He gave me cool guns, but right now he's not. Uh, not delivering and dropping the ball quite a bit. Oh, also when Fist with the Lost came back, it like dropped all the uh, old or all the quests, so I don't have to worry about like having the shame of not clearing it this year. At least on my Warlock, I gotta get it cleared on my Hunter and Titan still, but it'll happen, so not worry about it. Speaking of Hunter and War or Hunter and Titan, I'm sorry. Alright, it's done on the Warlock. I need to get the Hunter and Titan done. Yeah, speaking of Hunter and Titan, let's switch to the email. And where they're at. And stuff. But, uh. I don't think I put a bunch of Hunter Kids in the vault, but I did. Like, after seeing some of the old ones drop that I used to like a lot, I did put the, uh. the Maverick Cape in there. But I did, um. So I put on the Marsh. Like, all my Bog Wild gear on. I almost have it infused up to 400, so I guess maybe a proper set of lenses again to infuse up that are not lens of you. <laughs> and I can have my sweet um, broadsword shader on it, and yeah. And then also, oh yeah, this is the character I got more shaders on. So, this, Abel Levante had this one too, and this one looks kinda 
unique on it, but not as good, I say. Looks more uh, amphibian than plant. Yeah, this is a super black, super black one. This is the, um, like, if you do the, um, there's a thing in the tower that you do if you get, like, a, at the uh, box of raisins, and you trade around all your, your, your candy to the different vendors in the tower, you'll get that stuff, but yeah. Uh, same thing with this character, for like the raid stuff. I haven't done the raid as much as the hunter, but she has like all the... Or a lot of the stuff, so it's kind of annoying to, you know, have a lot of the stuff. And then, um... Still not have the pieces I need to get the flipping thing. Crap, I'm gonna have one right there. Let's hit this. And yeah, I got proper... PvP piece for this, like 52, 52, that's not bad, but then I think I've maxed discipline, and this is like this one, especially if I switched to my Apple Lupi, which I kind of went back to just because of the stat based on that. So I'm still having like issues on this character on like what to run in trials as far as armor, so two trip mine readings are nice, but it's not, it's not armamentarium. Though with that being said, it's better than nothing. Oh. And I could just like skip easily, you know, Shinobu's Val like so many other people do as a crutch and like switch to Blade Dancer, but ugh, just not, I just don't really like enjoy Blade Dancer. You know, like having the uh, Chain of Will and Gunslinger to stack your precision kill stuff when you get kills, it's always nice. Um, yeah, she has like hard mode helmet, hard mode arms, normal mode chest, hard mode legs. And the uh, normal mode artifact, so a couple pieces out. But then, as far as trials gear go, she's got the boots, the chest, um, and the helmet. So, well, it's not. It's um. It's in the vault. It's not on her character. But um, so that means arms and class item. So for her. And then I'll have the full set. I'm not carrying the artifact because you don't, it's not like you get anything when you have it, so yeah. But yeah, her heavies I think are also 400 except for her young goals how. I only put the well except to 400, so yeah. Uh, but I guess we can retire this Galahorn now, after many years of service, because I don't need three of them anymore, so. It served me very well in the first two years, but it's just taking up space now, so. GG Galhorn, you'll be missed. Two exact shards from it though. <laughs> and then the uh, special weapons. Okay, I guess I need to use this one up to 400. But yeah, for the most part, the same thing. And then, like I said, the class specific one. And then, um, well, I'm leveling this one up right now because I want to use it and see how good it is. But then, she usually carries around like the new ones. The basis dudes, and I guess I'll retire this touch of malice right now because I don't need it anymore. So, I'll also have the warlocks, but yeah, I don't need two extra. So, there you go. And I'm just playing crucible, that's why I have this ill warlock. So I got it to drop at that. So, with range right now, it's not bad. I mean, it's so much like impact and range, it's ridiculous that it hit those guns so hard. Steam out of crystal, let's get this bounty, see if I get anything sweet from it. Ooh, HS something something arachnid. I, I, I'll go to the vault. I'll go to the tower to put it in the vault. Or not, whatever, I'll just... I thought I had a character that had something to turn in and pick up from the vault, or the, one of the vendors, so... I don't know. We'll see, let me, let me check real quick, just to make sure. Oh, I forgot to check, but like, um, yeah, I've done like all my Nightfalls and crap this week, so. Also, kind of annoying because I keep doing the Prison of Elders to get the, uh, Darling Treasure Chest. And try to get my, um, Desolate Armor on this character. I just need the arms and helmet because I got the chest, got the legs, got the class item, but it's been quite a few weeks and I still haven't got a few drops, so. Hoping eventually that happens, but whatever. Yeah, this arachnid, I've never even used this before, so I don't know how it works. I just know what it says on the description of Longer Golden Gun and Zoom in Further When Aimed. 
Which actually wouldn't be that bad to have a last a golden gun that lasts longer. So I can maybe like switch it in for like <laughs> for clinching those five round annihilation wins or not, I don't know. I seem to run out of my golden gun pretty pretty fast it seems like. Oh Paint blind position is pretty good. I was using it earlier because I didn't know if I should have it on counterbalance or outlaw, but either one's good. With, with high caliber rounds, I, I kind of want to use the better stability since having high caliber rounds makes it not handle as good. So, and like maybe like range and outlaw, so you can have like really good range and uh, mystery reloads and headshots. Oh, we got packages, nice. Wait a minute. Yeah, she also got the challenge mode done, so yay to that. Oh, I got this emote from the knife all this week, so this is my new emote. <laughs> I think it's kind of lame, but I'm just, I'm just using it because I, I just got it. And then she also got the broom, so yeah. Oh yeah, Chasing Infinity, it's, it's, a, it's in the uh, Queen's Bounty packages now, so you can actually get it. So it's not super rare anymore, so I need to find a new ship for this character. Probably the hard mode raid ship whenever I get it because draft rate's pretty low. No, nobody in our group has got it yet, so <laughs> that's how low it is. Yeah. After however many weeks of it, still, still haven't gotten it. So, you know. Let's go see what we get here. Yeah, lately when I go to get these packages, I'll just do um, I'll do weapons. Well, I already said that earlier, but like I'll do weapons because. My armor I have is good on all my characters, and it's it's annoying to have to increase it up to 400. So it's like whatever. Same thing with trauma. It's basically the same crap. Where it's like you could get the flipping uh, spectar armor, but it's like, dude, my armor's good enough. So it's whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. I mean, it's true. There's ships, but I think the ships are in every package, right? Yeah. So it's whatever. Right, weapon. It's like, well, I can get something really cool. And it could roll, who knows what, right? So. Yeah, palindrome. I can see something with like. The darkness the, uh, is waiting for you, Hivebane. It'll roll on palindrome. Default stats. I think palindrome's better, but. I haven't actually checked this. I see it a lot in Crucible. Ooh, what? What? It'll roll out impact and range. I mean, rate of fire stability and reload better, but. It will hit like a truck dude, so Super. or whatever you wanna end that sentence with. That is a pretty bad gun. And bad isn't good, not terrible. Or not good. Is what I meant by that. Okay, let's uh come on, come on. So I get XP for this. Okay. I think I already turned the bounty in, didn't I? Yep. Okay, whatever. Let's get get uh this thing from Shax. Evening Guardian. And a faction. Go shell. Go do what picture. you do best, Hive Bane. Yeah. Ten shot though, that's not bad. Not as good as uh or not as hard hitting <laughs> as ill will. That second perk though is kinda crap. <laughs> Any more bullets. Ooh, hammer force though, that's not bad. Hmm, yeah, it's just, I'll probably just know this. I think he's nice and spades up, but, yeah. I'll wait until I have an excess of 400 weapons to do that, so, then I don't know. Which is why my, uh, Tralock is due to on my Warlock as well. Because it's like life and body, and it's, it's not something I use all the time, so, huh. Watch your staff, Guardian. Yeah, I guess I'll probably get rid of that. Uh, Talon Not the, or like a high picture. He's a guardian. Uh, I could get a bit of on it. How can we help you this evening? I did it. Yeah, it's kind of weird, like the order isn't the same on each of the vendors when you do that, but whatever. Extreme file, auto rifle. Mm. Hit fire, no thank you. Glass left. Oh, no thank you. Oh, like that control though. Mm, 
that's okay. I got this really good starter shadow price um, from my See Titan again, off a package in the Vanguard that has track control on it, so I'll compare those two right now. That's basically, you know. Oh, the Gersh was probably in the place last year. Yep, because I think the 391 that I got from the Vanguard filled the space. Yeah, I had like, kind of an issue here when I keep having full slots on stuff, so. So I just picked up. Yeah, I guess I have a hardwood Gershaw, so. I can do this now, I'm just switching the character, you know. Let's just try to press that real quick. Okay, just equip it, huh? Equip the streamer file to compare, yeah. Yeah, shadow price is better. Just a pair again. Yep. A better rate of fire, better reload speed, but bigger magazine, but it's just not as good. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this too, because it's just me. I mean, the range trainer on this makes it have even better range, even though this has hammer forged, so. Once it like gets the same range, it's still outranged. 97 with Mary Marks. I just realized something. I haven't ordered my guns from the gunsmith this week, so. I need to do that. And then what I do is if I get one of these that has better like discipline like this one does, I'll just equip it. <laughs> and then it infuses the old one into the new one. So it's like 2233. This is 3231. So, yeah. And it will not. That was almost a mistake. What happened there? There we go. There we go. But yeah, I'll probably like only do this gunsmith stuff until I have um, until like I'm legit playing this like once a week. I I, I, I kind of am now, but not really because I'm playing it right now. So obviously so that's not the case. But I mean, if I could just play this on like Tuesdays and like a big on Wednesday, I'll probably like, stop messing around with like the gunsmith crap. But I need more glimmer because yeah. I want to for sure get like a serious PDX ordered. Um, what are these hand cannons? I really like the Almond hand cannons because they just handle so well. And the sights on them, I like them a lot too. And they just, they do hit hard, but they not don't hit as hard as the other hand cannons, but their rate of fire is really good, so I like that too. Um, I don't know if I've had a Garrus D before, so I might do that as well, but it's only a 3 per character, so it's probably like... Cause I got so many Hershey D's, dude. It's like I don't really need any more at this point. And the one I have on this character, yeah, it's like that's so good. Like, how could it be better? But that's the, that's like the the RNG on the gunsmith, dude. You don't know what he's gonna have, so it's kind of fun to see what he's gonna have every week. But I need more glimmer, so Keep us safe. I will order this bit later. Um, that's my hunter. I think that's everything on the hunter. Nothing else to report really. So let's switch over to the Titan and see what he's got. At least that too. Hold on, let me put it back in the vault. <laughs> I'm like, something's not right here. I must have did something. But yeah, I actually infused up the uh, Hunter and Titan's PvE uh, artifacts while I infused up the PvP artifacts on the Warlock and just let him use those. So uh, yeah, I just gotta get these boots up, and I can have my Bog Wild set, we're in the raid. Anybody's gonna laugh at me, but I'll be like, whatever. I got my sweet Legloss, uh, elf armor, looking cool. I'm like, you losers, oh. So I got the thorn on this character I haven't done, so. Hmm. Oh, so I haven't effing, yeah, the uh, stuff with the lost crap on this character in a year, so. These two things. I already did them by Tuesday, I don't know. I just have not felt like doing it, so. Hmm. Yeah, this one's like, I think this is bugged on my character because it's campaign complete. And it completed the campaign, but whatever, so. Anyway. There are some like old capes I want to show up, like. Um, Neverick's camp, yes. This one. 
This one dropped me in like discipline in 35, and I was like, oh, I remember this cave. I used to like this one. It's kind of weird, because, yeah, like I said last time, now that I have my exotic class item, it's like, I will never wear these. I will just have them in my vault, taking up space, and like, admiring them. I'll just put them on the tower and be like, oh man, look how cool this looks, and then put it back. Because <laughs> it's not as functional, because it doesn't give me faction rep now, and it just gives me, uh, whatever. Vanguard or Crucible, you know, whatever. <sighs> Actually, I guess, like, you know, looking at all this 400 stuff, plenty of infusion material in here, so... Yeah, good to go on that. Or stuff that needs to be infused up. Oh, here's another one, Dustwalker. I actually have my old Dustwalker in the vault. That's not the year 3 one, it's not 390. It's, uh, where's that? That's one of the ones I kept, because I liked it so much. 130 defense. Ah, that's great. No light level at all. Or I guess 130 would be the light level, so. Hmm. I just need the Raven one, and I have all the cooks I want on this character. I'm going to switch over to the uh, Titan now. I'm going to put this Shadow Fice back real quick. I need to infuse up the Stomadula. Actually, hold on. There we go, okay. Why does Heritage do this? It's fine. But I'll keep it. I'll, I'll level this up and I'll switch it back. Because it's like three guns, right? So it's like the Class Exotic. Their... Their gun from the raid, and then the Trials again. So that's three guns. So these two can just like vault, but I'm leveling this one up and I really like Nurin's Mercy. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I still really like Nurin's, like, compared to Blind Prediction. I guess I just haven't noticed how good the range and the rate of fire on it, but you can like still go like an impact, but not really. It's it's really close in my opinion on these two, because because my neurons are so stable, but then this one it doesn't I don't know it doesn't always feel like it fires as fast as it does or hits as or it shoots as far, but since it doesn't hit as hard, I guess you can tell the lack of the impact, but it has high caliber rounds, so it does you can tell in firefights when you're winning. That you are messing up the other person's, uh, the other person's, uh, stability and stuff, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, let's move on to the least used character of the bunch, the Titan. Because, yeah. No challenge mode him for him. Ho oh, ho. Okay, I have my share button saying it's like an hour, so hopefully this does all record. But, um,. Yeah, for him, Dave and Charity are really just done. So, <clears throat> these two I just got from drops in uh, Crucible. So, well, not in Crucible. This is from a package. This is from Crucible. I just haven't bossed them yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I just haven't put these two in the ball yet. But, uh, the new, this is the new doctrine that I was talking about that's got the uh, rangefinder on it. So, it's got the same, I think, everything else brace frame. I mean, so, I mean yeah, small boy brace frame. And range finder instead of hidden hand, so I can't wait to use this because it's a fun gun to use. And with range finder, you get even more range, so. I mean, it's out range by a lot of odd rifles, but when you ride up on somebody, it doesn't really matter. So it's like, you know, you have less damage drop off, it's gonna be a fun new gun to use, like I said. Haven't really infused his, his specials up, so I guess I gotta get on that. Alright, let's see, his heavy is. Yep. Except for the Young Wolf Cell and the Dread Thing, which I said is not important because I got my Legendary Sword, so. Huh. And one last Galahorn. So, Rip Galahorn, you are a good gun to take into the field. And not stuff, and stuff. But I got a new one now, so it's fine. And yeah, he's got the Unlocked Dread Horn. I don't think. I think the Titan has like. I think I ran through the raid once on the Titan, and he got the arms, so, yeah. That's the Titan. But he has, like, all the trials that were on this. He's got the helmet right here. He's got the arms. He's got the chest. Just needs the legs, because I just got the class item this week, so... That is... Well, I guess I'll take the shader off. But... Very open, just show. There you go, the top half 
It's complete and class item. So I just get the legs. That's everything. Uh, Copper Chow's gun. Okay. And I'll also touch a mouse. Goodbye. Not really need any more, so get the seven. Okay. I haven't messed around with enough new neotronics either on the Titan, because I had Demarches equipped, but I couldn't really tell <laughs> what was happening. <laughs> as far as, like, I mean, whenever the tower you can, because I run super fast, or it, you definitely, like, feel faster when you're running in the tower, but in the battle, it's like, I can't really, what's going on? Let me put my other stuff back on real quick. Unless I don't need it on. It's a pretty small helmet. Is that, oh, I haven't even had armor for her, but I'm loving this arm up, so whatever. I guess, I don't know. I didn't know this one, didn't I? Dude, I, oh, I know what it is, my shader's different. I'm like, why is my armor look different right now? It looks terrible. <laughs> Class item. There we go, alright. Let's turn some stuff in real quick. Yeah, only one four hundred artifact for the. Uh... Oh, I forgot to dismantle those. Whatever, that's cool. Get off. Off the. Oh, I've done a lot of work. That's another heavy. Um, don't even know what to use it on. I can just mount it for the uh, shards. Let me go back to the tower real quick. I'm not sure anything. I don't. I'm not sure anything to pick up, but I have something to pick up with him in the race, so. We're gonna go on a uh, bonus trip to the race. No, I'll do that. I guess I'll melt down all my artifacts too, actually. On the uh, on the Hunter and Titan. I don't need the, the second and third sets of them, so doing that. Just the PvP ones, the PvE ones can stay. Dark Void, Void, Void Solar. I turn out it's just like too annoying to have like all those and then like keep trying to get the artifacts from the dark on forest and use them all up. It's like dude, just have one set and move them around and then using your characters because then I need space in the vault and move them around. So that's kind of an issue or whatever. So yeah. Happy to help. I promise you to come back. I hope we helped you, Guardian. Alright, well uh that is that then. What are the Titans of anything I'm sure? Because I don't really use them a lot. So, I can play them out if you get I don't use them as much. I mean, he still gets, you know, good use and stuff, but not nearly as much as the other two. So. Oh, wait, let me compare the other Doctor now real quick. I'm sure we're all curious to know. It's the same for two, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm going to use the same thing with Small Boar. Because I had. It's so crazy, dude. I had. I used Brace Ram for all of your tier on this gun. And I did not switch it to, like, small bore until year 3. But I was like, dude, what, what is wrong with me? I didn't. I mean, you lose stability, but persistence is so good that it's like, you don't even know if you need it. So. Get that range buff. It's like, mm, yes. Feels. There's a boost. Make sure you lose bullets from extended mag, but you have plenty of bullets. Plenty of bullets. Yeah, it's the same stuff. Small bird brace room. Range ranger. Here it needs to use it. Um. Can I go well? Triple tap. Can I? Oh. What am I doing right now? I am melting down these artifacts. I also need to actually hold up. I need to go to the leaf, so I'm going to do that instead. I used to have some dungeons too, so I also need to use... I also have some thorn, yeah, the thorn quest icon, so I need that. But yeah, these are the box raisins to get the broom, so you give them... I don't remember. 
go over here, but the, you give them different characters in the tower, and you'll eventually get the the uh, shader that I'm at. It's all black, so yeah. Uh, nothing in chocolate or whatever. So, hmm. all right. Maybe let's begin the race. Whatever. Time should pick up. Let's see what it is. But yeah, every every vendor in the tower in the reef, and I'm not sure about the Iron Temple. All their stuff that they give as rewards, they always drop that on max 390. So kind of a bummer, but whatever. They can always be used up. So this is that. Okay, let's do some of these real quick. I actually couldn't tell if the mirror rolled on, like, the other sprint cooldown was, like, you know, significantly less. And then on, like, the Silmar, it's weird, because sometimes, like, they'll activate on other things besides Thorn, so it's kind of cool that it does that. So I like I like to put the, uh, full supers and enemies with low health. Yeah, I haven't even like messed with the uh the uh <laughs> the one I got this week where you punch enemies and they turn to your side. Or they or they switch to your side. What's it called? Yeah, I haven't even messed with Tamir. Tamir. It's it's Tamir, I think. But yeah, I haven't messed with that one yet. Yeah, I haven't even bothered using it. I do like how these are like exotics though, where you basically don't have to level them up to have the ability on them, so it just has the ability by default when you get it. Using like five legendary marks for these, that's that's not bad. Square into here. Yeah, I only have space in my artifact slot, so that's why I'm doing this on all my characters. And then I have to worry about the stupid no space every time. I do some yeah, as you can see I'm, I'm like having kind of an issue with space, but it's manageable, but nothing too crazy, so... Alright, I have something from... Uh, Petra. We lost. See what it is? How can I help? I should repeat it. Oh well. Too late. Still here. <laughs> I got the class item. I like this one. Oh, that looks, that looks actually pretty good with a shader on. I'm not gonna lie. That does not look bad with the shit on. Yeah, it's like discipline, so. Hmm. It likes, however. Rocky Launcher, but I have plenty of. Hmm. Like discipline legs. I mean, I've been saying I only like discipline strength, though. To run the, um. That one thingy. Yeah, if you were in, um. Scories. Cause if you just if you just hold your super and you don't use use it, you're not gonna worry, worry about that. So that's like an entire different set of armor. So that's like oh, 74, 73 though. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Then I need to see, whatever. Okay, so that's Titan. Yeah, the Titan's up. Oh wait, hold up, dude. I probably can check it. Somehow. Or no. Your help means so much to us. Nope. I can't check it now that I've turned my package in. Good Whatever. hunting. Alright, where you at? That's the Titan. You know where he's at. Let me see if I still have that mark in here somewhere. If not, it's whatever. Nope, I just have that one. This one. This looks really good. <laughs> For your one mark. Oh yes, it's, you know, it's, this is the new one mark too, so it's, oh no, it's not, it's 2D. Let's see. Yeah, that was house almost, dude. But there's no serial stuff in here. Oh, it's, I know what it was. It was a, the old one that got higher values from your two, so you could use it again if it is your two. I mean, technically it's your one, but whatever, so. Do it, do it. still all this Spectre armor in here for him, I haven't used it up, so. Eventually, right? 
to have so much infusion material in the vault that we're looking at that can just infuse into most of those things. Like this helmet, or these arms, or this other helmet, or these legs. Oh, wait a minute, didn't, it, didn't the hunter need legs or something? Yeah, she did. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> Zaffir. <laughs> Zaffir uses triggering reason to, like, try to get someone, but I'm just not as good with the shoulder charge. So, go to getting infused into something, for sure. Oh, anyway. <sighs> so yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm on my characters. Um, except for that mark back on space. It's whatever. I like it. Looks good. Looks good. It's got yellow and gold. I'm sorry. Blue and gold. So. <laughs> yellow and gold. And then, uh... The one in here is like, I mean, it's probably a different color with the shader off, but with the shader on, it's pretty good. So, this one could get your three, that'd be great. Oh, wait a minute, didn't I say something about the starting class item? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, the hunter has a scarf and the titan has the belt, but um, I did keep them both, so. <laughs> this is one like without the mark, just the straight up belt. So, I'm. Trying to get the one from the Warlock, which I already said, but if anybody knows what it is, just leave it in the comments so I can eventually get it. Uh, but yeah, that's that. <laughs> See, I got this one thinking it was like something cool, and I saw it was like just a normal one, and it's just a participation one, so I probably shouldn't infuse this into something. Because every time I look at it, I'm like, that's not a special mark, because the one that you want is the beetle one which you got, so. I'll probably use into that or something, whatever, but yeah. That's, uh, where my characters are at and stuff. Actually, I'm going to switch back to my hunter to show the scar real quick. And to dismount all those other artifacts, and then I'm done. That's basically where my characters are at. They're all 400, they're all good to go, they've all done the raid, they've all, well, they've all done trials and done good in trials, but the hunter has not gone flawless yet, so. But you know, new goal is uh, flawless, or flawless, mm -hmm. flawless ornamentation on all armor. So hopefully, I can do that, and that would be really cool. Have that by the end of the year. And that's the goal. Make sure these are 400 before I start just mailing them. Okay, I guess I, I gotta kind of figure out the door shell situations here because I like a lot of the door shells, but I don't use, use them all, so just having them on is taking up space, and then there's no space in the general slot in the vault to make space, so I'm gonna have an issue. Okay, here's a scarf on the hunter, which is the starting class item, and what it looks like on this character. It's basically like you have no cape. You've been... your cape has been seized and taken away. So it's like, oh, your character, yeah, it's like you look at your character from the front and you went back and it's like, hey, where's my cape? <laughs> so I thought that was neat on the hunter and titan, that they were like, you know, Two things are not there. Something on the world up here would just be like, you know, some armband that's like super lame, probably. If so you're gonna give them something that doesn't even cover the, cover their arm. Use them all with the 400, so. Until I get like, until Tyra has the uh, same artifacts and Atlantis and Thunder, and I can swap them all out, or just infuse them essentially into that, into the, the one she has that I want. That's my mission, so yeah. 
so that is where my character is at and what's going on with all my characters and stuff and things and blah 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 uh it's gonna be strange place to have this one cruiser and two or something right so we should be good on, on the coins i had like a hundred on the day he went away so it looks like i didn't even use 40 of them so so I'm trying to like figure out how many I need every week, so but it kinda of varies. It's kinda of hard to like gauge it. Alright, that's okay, that's it for the weekly. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's it, that's it for the monthly update in Destiny. Where the characters are at, what I'm what I'm doing, what I'm up to, what the plans are, the goals are. So yeah. Um I'll be uploading this to YouTube, um the share button settings, like an hour. Hopefully it got it all in there. If not, whatever. <laughs> Always oh, next month. Yeah. Uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, su subscribe, favorite, share it to your friends, or not. That's cool too. And until you see or hear from me again, I'm Rock Hunter and Titan. Saying goodbye. And I'm now signing off.